was brought to you by Earth. YouTube, enhancing mobile advertising on Facebook. Hello, everybody. This is Roger Hansen in uh, Southern Illinois. It's June or July the 19th, 2019 in Southern Illinois, Zone 6. And today I'm going to be planting beets in this grow bed. They're going to be one, one to two inches apart and about a half inch deep. And I'm putting them... I'll, I'll be putting them here I and mean, going two inches over and then two inches over, or maybe a foot. I don't know. I'll probably keep them about a foot apart, like I did in the uh, totes last year. But they'll be about a half inch apart in rows and about a foot apart. And I'll go all the way down from that way. So I'll take a picture. Okay, it's July the 16th, 2019 in Southern Illinois, Zone 6, and this is my beats. Now, before I get started, I want to apologize because on some of my old videos, I've been messing up on the date. So, that said, I want to apologize and get on with what I was saying. I've got my beats down, and I have my markers next to them. Here's one, two, two, three, and four. And then I have them, I have them spaced about an inch apart or a foot apart. I think I might have said an inch before. About one there. And I have four uh, rows going that way of beets. So I'm going to take a picture and I will keep you updated. Okay, it's day six or day seven on my uh, beach. Today is July the ninth or July the twenty third, two thousand and nineteen in Southern Illinois. This is on the six. From looking at it, you can't tell that anything's actually happening. But right here, you can see one of the beets. This is what they look like. I know that from last fall. We're getting them in different areas. They're starting to sprout up. But you have to get really close to look at them. And you can tell by their stems. The stems are red. So, and they come out with uh, just two leaves like that. So, just wanted to keep an, on, an update on it. Okay, it's July the 30th, 2019 in Southern Illinois, Zone 6, and so far everything's going all right with this grow, grow bed. I've been having to put water on it because of all the heat. Not all of the beets are actually coming out, but I am getting some. There's one right there, and that's a pretty good size one. I've seen other ones around in here too. But I've um, got them all marked off by these little markers right here. So, 
so I can recognize where they're at and where they're going. And, um, here's okay. this is what they look like. They have those little red stems. So that one growing. That might be. I'm not sure. And there's a few other ones the pockets of. So they are coming up. Not all of them are coming up. So I can reseed as I as I go. But I just want to keep you updated on it. I'm gonna take a picture of a good one when they're young. And I will keep you updated. It is August the 10th, 2019 in Southern Illinois, Zone 6. This is my wheat, or my beet, raised grow, grow, grow bed, and right now it has a lot of grass in it. I was going to wait until around the fifth week before I pulled the grass out and wheat, weeded it out, but as you can tell, the grass is getting big, and I'm going to have to do it before that grass overgrow, uh, uh, overtakes the garden like it did with the rest of the yard in July. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that grass and I will keep you updated on it. <clears throat> I have been watering them and uh, trying to keep it moist. For, I want to do that for about five weeks. Even though the dirt is dry, the reason why it's that way is because we've been having some pretty hot days in this area for quite a long time. It, it, we've gotten about maybe four rains in the last, uh, well, since the beginning of July, and they haven't been really big ones. We've had about maybe two big ones. And even though the, we're getting that little bit of rain, we're getting massive amounts of grass. We've got some growing right there. We've already gone through my garden, and full grass by hand because my mower and my weed eater went off but it seems to grow back so I have to keep an eye on it and keep it going. But every night, usually around twilight, I come out here and I water and it doesn't keep it moist all day but it does give give the plants water. I've got one there. One there. There's a few of them you can see. Just wanted to let you guys know what's going on and keep you updated. The next one, uh, the next video I'm make won't have this. So. It is September the 7th, 2019 in Zone 6, Southern Illinois. This is an update on the beach that I put down in the grow bed. Got one there. And one there. Just have to find them. Right here. And one right here. Now, I've got a lot of other things that are growing in 
with it. But out of all of them that I planted, those are the only one, four that survived. So I just wanted to keep you updated on it. And take some pictures too. All right, now I've got a grow bed going up behind the tomato garden that I have here. Um, I'm doing it like before. I'm looking at the, the sides for the raised garden. And I've had to use bricks on here because that's all concrete back there underneath the clay box. And I'm using the wood that I got from the neighbors now. Put the plastic down and I'm going to add dirt. Let's see if I can get a decent picture. Okay, this is May 31st, 2019, uh, zone six. In southern Illinois, this is what the uh, uh, raised bed looks like after I'm finished. Now it's time to figure out what we're going to put in there. I've been thinking about maybe just going ahead and putting lettuce down since in here since we're really pressed on time. It's almost June and I need to get those down. So, but it doesn't look all that pretty. But it does it or it's doing what it's made for or it'll do what it's made for and that's all i got okay this is may the 31st or, no it might be april 1st but uh in zone six in southern illinois i finally got the lettuce put down in the a new grow bed on there and got three uh three uh rows of them one there another down the middle and then one right there and i planted them a quarter of an inch to half an inch deep and they are I believe uh, one foot apart, maybe two foot. I believe it's two foot. So I got it done finally, and we will see how it works. That's it. Okay, it's June the 10th, 2019, in zone at six, southern Illinois. I'm doing a quick update on my lettuce. My freaking or they're starting to come out now. It took a little while. We are all getting nets. They look Let's see if I can get a good picture. There we go. This is June 16th, 2019 in Southern Illinois, Zone 6. Here's an update on the cabbages that I planted in the grow bed. bed. They're coming along pretty good. Okay, it's June the 26th, 2019 in Southern Illinois, uh, Zone 6. This is an update on my lettuce that I grew. And... So far, this is what they look like. Take a picture of it. Sorry for the sunlight. We've had a pretty big uh, couple of rainstorms, and so far, they're doing okay. We've got neon green, but they're coming along all right from what I see. Okay, this uh, July the 14th, 2019, in Southern Illinois, Zone 6. This is an update on my used to be 
cat of lettuce, which died out because of the heat. We had no rain whatsoever for about two, two and a half weeks, and it is done. So I'm going to go ahead and start planting over there one of the totes. This is July the 21st, 2019. Here are some of the pots that we planted cherry trees in. And I just wanted to show you what they look like. And keep, or keep do an update on it. This one, I believe, is a cherry tree, plum tree, or a crab tree. Hopefully, it's not a crab tree. It's coming along pretty good. This is the one I pulled out of the barbed cantaloupe bed. I started to do the grow beds that we're going to do the corn in. Decided to put them in between the coats. And I just started putting the frame up. The neighbors were nice enough to let us use all the paneling they had. They were getting ready to throw it away. So we asked if we could use it and set it up. <clears throat> Setting it up like this, what they've done before. The other ones. Put plastic over it. <clears throat> it's going to take five for what I've got here. I'm going to do it all the way around like that so it meets up. Then I'll put plastic down and fill it with dirt. Also, going to do over here. Right now, I'm clearing, cleaning this out and of everything, pots and everything. And I'm going to do the same thing there. Pictures. The wood's not in the best, but it's uh, biodegradable, so I'm okay with it. Finally got the grow bed that I had here up and I'll be putting grow bed down here like I started over there. So I wanted to get that straightened out or show video of it. This is May the 31st, Zone 6 in Southern Illinois. Okay, it's June 1st, 2019 in Zone 6 in Southern Illinois. And I'm getting ready now to start this the elevated row bed. I showed it a video of it earlier. And I want to show you everything after the frame's finished. Got it going along right here like this. In between the coats. Like before, I put little pieces of stick. There to keep it up. Before I said I was going to put them on the outside in some place, and I didn't. But I have them in some place. And what I'm going to do now is use this husky plastic uh, sheeting for plant. I'm going to lay it flat down on here. And then I'm going to put the dirt from that pile right there on top of it. And we're going to turn this into a garden. So let me get some pictures. And I'll show you the results after I'm done. It's April 1st, 2019, in Zone 6, Southern Illinois. And I went ahead and decided to go ahead and do the frame for the second raised uh, row bed. I did this one just like I did in this one over here. And now I'm going to go ahead and take pictures and after that I'm going to uh, 
plastic now. Use the sticks for grooves or for stakes to hold up the sides like I did on the other one. Now I put the plastic on. Okay, April 1st, 2019, Zone 6 in Southern Illinois. This is what the row bed looks like with the plastic on the way down. I got both of them done. Picture of it. Took down all the stuff back there, sitting there. Got that there. I end up putting chicken wire across these to keep the animals out. This is what this one looks like. And I actually was able to use one piece came up 10 by 25 on the plastic and it stopped right here and I was able to use a little bit of what I had left over last year and then I had another little strip for just this area so it worked out good and I'll show you guys what it looks like when the dirt's down all right it's June the 2nd 2019 in zone six southern illinois i finally got this with the dirt down inside of this grow bed this is going to be for corn and uh, uh mustard i guess mustard seeds but i got plastic trimmed down right there around the edges and it's underneath and this is what it looks like I've got another one that needs to be done. I haven't finished yet, so I've got to get this taken care of. And I'll be using dirt to come up with her. And that pile. June 12th, 2019, in Zone 6, Southern Illinois. Uh, this is a quick update on the grow beds that I was doing. I got this one finished, and this one I finally finished yesterday. So, here, good to go. I'll be putting carrots and mustard seed in these two. Or not carrots, but uh, corn and mustard seed. Okay, it is July the 23rd, 2019 in Southern Illinois, Zone 6. This is an update on my lavender slash chia grow bed. Um, so far, I still can't identify what I'm looking at, but I believe this is the chia right here. It could be the lavender, it could be just weeds, I don't know. But... If you guys know what it is and you recognize it, please let me know. Um, we also have this growing in. This could be lavender, which I'm thinking that's what it is. We got a little bit of a row going on right there. And a row of it going on back there. And hopefully that's one of the two. But I'm keeping an eye on it. Okay, this is an update on my chia slash lavender garden. Um, I don't know exactly what's what. I believe that this is lavender, but I could be wrong. It could be chia. This is grown in a row. This is in somewhat of a row, and then these are all exactly where I put the seeds down. This is what I believe is either chia or lavender. You guys recognize these things let me know which is which because I don't know just leave a comment in the comment section but this is what we've got so far 
and I like I said I don't know what what it is so I'm still trying to identify it it's crazy isn't it in the middle of the line, I still can't tell you what it is it is August the 10th 2019 in southern Illinois zone 6 this is an update on my lavender slash chia grow bed in the backyard and I wanted to show you guys what it looks like. A lot of these plants have broken down because of the heat. We've had ex excessive heat here. Everything everywhere else is torrential rains left and right, but and flood warnings and stuff like that. But here in our area, we've had maybe four storms in the last two months since the beginning of July. And two of those were actually big rains the rest of just sprinkles but it's taking a toll on the plants we're actually having leaves drop early this year because they're dying off you can see them all the they're all over the place got leaves over in that grow bed over there but it's something else but i just want to come back here and keep you updated and let you know how this is looking I haven't seen anything that shows what these are. Um, I was thinking maybe that would be either the lavender or the chia, but there's no changes out of them. They just seem to be the same way they are, and I still don't know if that's a chia or a lavender. Um, if you guys know, you know, Fill me in, let me know, tell me in the comment section what they are. Appreciate it. I'll keep you up. was brought to you by Earth. On YouTube, enhance and mobile advertising on Facebook. We thank you for your participation. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, share, make comments. We love feedback.